welcome to my studio and today we're going to be doing a technique exercise that features the Broadway Manhattan Shirley Temple Alexander Falafel Heel Spank Heel Toe Heel whatever you want to call it that is not five different steps that is just one step with five different names uh, if you call it something other than one of those five names please write that down below in the comments because I'm always dying to know what other names people have for different steps I just love that about like the culture of tap and how Things can be different in one place than another place. It's so cool. So yeah, we're gonna be doing, for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna call it a Broadway, because that's what I grew up calling it, but just letting you know, uh, we're gonna be doing a short and sweet Broadway variation. So let's get started. It starts with flap heel heel, flap heel heel, and you're gonna use your opposite heel first. So you're gonna flap with the right and then do left, right, heel, heel. And then it'll be the opposite on the left. So you have right and then left. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. And one, and two, and three, and four. It also starts on the and. Because most of the time, Broadway start on the and. So this whole sequence is going to start on the and. So one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. And one, and two, and three, and four. Awesome. Your right foot is free. You're going to go into a full Broadway. And if you've never done a Broadway before, I forgot to mention this. There is a step tutorial playlist down below that features an entire video on this step to help you learn it if you've never done it before. So if you need to, go learn it and then come back to this video and try this exercise. So what we're doing is full lap heel, heel, full lap heel, heel, full lap heel, heel, spank, heel, toe, heel. Ready? Let's try it. Five, six, seven, eight. Heel, lap, heel, heel. exercises are for, we want to make sure that we're even on both sides. So we have full lap heel heel. So now the heels are right left first because we started with the left foot. So lap heel heel and then on the right, and then a full Broadway on the left. So let's try doing right and then adding the left. Five, six, seven, eight. And one, and two, and three. Awesome. One more time, and then we'll go on to the other parts of this. It's like a two-phrase exercise. Five, six, seven, eight. This is also a very good exercise to work on timing and evenness of sound. Your right foot is free. You have. Full lap, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel. So you're going to do a little heel, toe, crawl this way. So it's one full lap. Heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel. Starting with the left heel. Okay, so let's just try that. Full lap, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel. Five, six, seven, eight. Good. Now this toe is up. You're going to do spank, heel, toe, heel. Just as if that was a regular Broadway. So it's going to turn a little strange rhythmically until we finish the phrase. So you're going to go and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six. So it becomes a six count little phrase there. Words. I don't have them today. So you've got full lap, heel, heel, full lap, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel, spank, heel, toe, heel. Let's try it. Five, six, seven, eight. Then we do it on the left. So you just did. Now your left foot is free. Now you're going to be leading with your right heel. So all you're doing is adding a little heel, heel, toe, toe in the middle of it. <laughs> That's all you're doing. So go lap, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel, spin, heel, toe, heel. So let's try it. Five, six, seven, eight. Good, so let's do right and then left. Five, six, seven, eight. So never mind the rhythm for a minute, just keep it even and keep it going. 
one. Now I'll count the rhythm out. Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. So all we have left is five, six, seven, eight, and you're going to finish exactly the same way that you started. You finish with same step as we did in the beginning. Full lap, heel, heel, full lap, heel, heel. So let's do the second half real quick. Stop my computer from going to sleep. Let's do the second half real, real quick. The sixth count, the sixth count, and then full lap, heel, heel, full lap, heel, heel. And then we'll try the whole thing. Okay? Five, six, seven, eight, five, eight. Not bad. All right, so let's try the whole thing. Full lap, heel, heel, full lap, heel, heel, Broadway. Full lap, heel, heel, full lap, heel, heel, Broadway. Six count Broadway. Six count Broadway. Full lap, heel, heel, full lap, heel, heel. Let's try it. Although I think I used the wrong hand because I'm facing you, so that's opposite. But you know what I mean. You can start with the left foot. Nothing is stopping you from starting with the left foot. All right, let's try it. Five, six, seven, eight. a little easy maybe we'll speed it up a little bit who knows it so I can hear it too. I usually have the music facing the mic so that you guys get it nice and clear, but not today. This song's a little weird. All right, let's try it again. That's much better. just a little bit, like the tiniest bit, because why not challenge ourselves? That's the thing, is that I just want to make sure not only did you guys learn a really, really fun um, exercise, we also got to challenge ourselves a little bit. So let's try it. I only put it up about 10%, so let's see.
totally fine. Just always credit where you got it. Um, then you can do it in a beginner class to help them learn like heels and toes. If they already know Broadway, you can do it in an advanced class and make them do it like insanely fast. Like a one and two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight. Cause this part, the that's really difficult to keep even at fast, at faster tempos. Honestly, it's really difficult to keep even at really slow tempos too. <laughs> so have fun with it. See if your if your kids can benefit from it. Your students of any age, not just kids, students of any age. I'll be trying this in my adult class for sure. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining me today for this technique exercise. I love technique exercises so much. Um, but yeah, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button and join the tap fam. I've got technique exercises like this. Some of them can be used for all levels. Some of them are very level specific. It says right on the thumbnail what level it is and in the title as well. So you definitely can use all of them in class. Just again, credit where you got it. Um, I have choreography tutorials that take all of the steps that you guys get to learn and give you a fun context to practice them in with a little flavor. Those you can't bring to class without my permission, but it does say that in the description of which ones you can and which ones you can't. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so sometimes I teach you guys stuff that's in my professional company, so that's what I mean. Um, so yeah, technique tutorials, choreography tutorials, step tutorials to help you learn a step like I mentioned earlier, vlogs, challenges, tap videos. This is your free online tap dance resource that is completely for you. Like, just all you have to do is subscribe and you get all of this free tap dance content. I upload new videos every single week, several times a week, just for you and because I love it. I don't know who I am if I'm not teaching tap. So hopefully you guys had a lot of fun with me today. And as always, thank you for dancing with me. Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button.